Hi, this is Rob. There are two good ways to graph a piecewise function on the TID4 plus CE. And once the piecewise function is graphed, it will not be perfect. You will still need to do some adjustments before you turn in your homework. This is what I mean. Let's start with this piecewise function. But first, turn off stat plots. Press the second button, then the Y equals button, which is the stat plot button. Number four is to turn stat plots off, and number five is to turn stat plots on. We want number four. Press the four button. Now press the enter button. It says done, which means the stat plots are off. Press the clear button to clear this home screen. Now we want to set a standard graphing window. Press the zoom button. We want Z standard number six, so press the six button. This gives us 10 tick marks, here, 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 and here. And the distance between each tick mark is one. This blue line is a graph of the line from a previous problem. We will delete that equation next. Press the Y equals button. If you have any previous equations here, clear them. To clear them, make sure that the blinking cursor is just after the equals sign, then press the clear button. Now press the graph button. Our graph is ready. The first way to plot a piecewise function. Go back to the Y equals button. We'll use Y1. Press the math button. Scroll down to here. Piecewise. Highlight it and press the enter button. Here we can select how many pieces is in our piecewise function. You can choose between 1 to 5 by using the right or left arrow button. We have three pieces, so I will choose three. Arrow down to OK and press Enter. We have three boxes on the left, followed by semicolons, and three boxes on the right. The boxes on the left, we will input this information, and the three boxes on the right, we will input this information. The first box we put X squared. The X is here, and the square button is here. Now right arrow to the next box over. Here we will enter x is less than 2. x, to get the less than sign, press the second button, then the math button, which is also the test button. Less than is number 5, so press the 5 button. Now enter a 2. We go to the second piece by pressing the right arrow button. Enter a 6. Right arrow button. Enter x equals 2. X, second button, math button, the equal sign is number 1, press the 1 button. Then enter a 2. To go to the next piece, press the right arrow button. This is our third and final piece. Enter 10 minus X. Then press the right arrow button. Here we will enter X is greater than 2 and x is less than or equal to 6. To get the AND, press the second button, then the MATH button. Right arrow to logic. AND is number 1, so press the 1 button. Now enter x is less than or equal to 6. Press the down arrow button. Now press the graph button to graph it. Here is our graph. However, there are problems with it. Graphing piecewise functions on the T84 plus CE is not perfect, and I will point out those imperfections. But as a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. The problems. This piece is the x squared if x is less than 2. At x is 2, you need to put an open circle here. Open circle or open dot because the 2 is not included in this piece. If it said that x is less than 2 and equal to 2, you would put a closed dot. So the TID4CE does not put open or closed dots on the pieces. Another problem with this piece is that this side goes on for infinity because it is the x squared if x is less than 2. When you submit your homework, 
you will need to put an arrow on this side to indicate that this piece goes to infinity in this direction. The next piece, 6, if x equals 2. This is the y equals 6 piece. There should be a closed dot here, but it does not appear. The dot should be at point x equals 2, y equals 6, so be aware of this. The TI-84 plus CE does not place points on the piecewise graphs. The third piece also needs a dot at each end. There should be an open dot at x greater than 2. Open dot because it does not include the 2. And a closed dot at x is less than and equal to 6. Closed dot because it includes the 6. Okay, the second method and preferred method to enter a piecewise function on the TI-84 plus CE. Press the Y equals button. Clear this equation by pressing the clear button. The second method is to enter each piece as a separate piecewise function. So we'll enter this piece on Y1, this piece on Y2, and this piece on Y3. But using the piecewise in the math button like we did before. So for the Y1, press the math button, go down to piecewise, Press the Enter button. For the number of pieces, select only one. Use the left arrow button. We want one piece. Arrow down to OK and press Enter. In this box, enter X squared. Right arrow to the next box. Enter X is less than 2. Down arrow to Y2. Here I will skip ahead with the Y2 and Y3 filled in with the other pieces. The advantage of this method is that each piece will have a different color on the graph. It will make it easier to associate the piece on the graph with the piece of the function. Press the graph button. Here is the graph you will still have the same problems that we had with the first method. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.